Hi, Leo. Welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to everybody for all the support. I have to tell you, today is my 50th birthday. And so I'm sharing this with everyone because I have been reading tarot for 33 years. And I cannot even put into words how much joy it has brought into my life to read tarot on this platform with all of you. And I just appreciate you. I love you all and appreciate you all so much. If you are new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if the reading doesn't fit, just come back in a couple of days. You can watch a new reading. Fridays are always a general reading. So today's reading will bring in aspects of money, love, travel, really anything you can ask about. Mondays are different every week. Coming up soon, I am going to have a four-month predictive reading for the months of May through August. So if you have not subscribed, you might want to and even hit the bell to be notified so you don't miss that one. All right, what advice do you have for Leo? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Leo need to know, please, for the best and highest good? of all concerned with Leo. Messages for Leo, please. <clears throat> all right, we will start here with the tarot and then we'll have a couple of oracle cards today. All right, you have the lovers. Strength, this is solid. The five of cups, the three of pentacles, temperance, the nine of cups, the Three of Swords, it's interesting that those two are together. And Judgment. Listen, you have four major arcana. And how about this? This doesn't happen often. You have Leo here, by the way, which I'm not trying to leave you out in the cold. But you have three archangels. Aren't those beautiful together? Listen, this new cycle is going to feel like it is heaven sent. Okay, you're going to be in the right places at the right times to meet the right people. It's moving forward and talk about smooth. And talk to your angels. Speaking of talking, ask. They're here to communicate with you and give you guidance. But we have the Archangel Raphael, Michael, and Gabriel all in the same reading. That's a big deal. Now, I mentioned you have Leo here. You've got Gemini, Sagittarius. You've got water, air, and earth. So I definitely feel like with this, you stand in the sunlight of the spirit. All right. So if it's a job change, because you have some pain here. I don't want to discount that with the Three of Swords. Five of Cups. If there was a betrayal, I'm going to put this down just for a minute. But okay, Three of Cups here, third party for somebody. Three of, of Swords, third party. If it was something like that, or it was just you felt invisible. Now, I get this with a job too, though. Almost like the third party was just dishonesty from your employer, as in they knew they were going to be cutting jobs and were saving themselves. Because guess what? They needed workers until they were ready to start laying people off. All right, now we're gonna get back onto this. So I do feel like somebody here, if you've been unemployed, you're gonna have a job offer and it's gonna be so much more harmonious with that three of pentacles. I feel like too, the Archangel Michael comes in to not only give love and protection, but also allow you to forgive whatever that was that happened to you so you can let go of it entirely. Because with this, you're gonna move forward in a relationship. This is the kind of relationship that changes your life. This is a big turning point. Now, even if it's a job too, it's gonna to be one of those times where you go into that cycle and you say, I've never felt better in my entire life. This is a freedom and a happiness I have not known and it's here, it's coming out of this. And so with this too, um, in terms of you know asking, am I on the right path? The answer is yes, when you see this. It's also a card too though that tells you to pay attention to your intuition, but also your dream interpretations. Now, the lovers in some decks is called a choice. It represents a choice, but this is about positive choices. This is not two of swords choice. This is moving in the right direction. So those of you that do have to make a choice that's somewhat difficult, or you had to make a choice because you felt like the writing was on the wall and it was gonna happen anyway, you step towards your dreams. You stepped into the right direction. Well, and we have, keep having this. Let's just point this out briefly, okay? 
See those mountains in the in the cards? Those are indications that you're overcoming. And it's also can be fertility with the lovers. So those of you, if you've had some heartache around the area of fertility and you're saying, when is it going to be my time? I see all the people around me. When is it my turn? Here you go. Okay, this is it. And so I love this card. It gets like one of the unsung heroes in the tarot. Here it is. They're telling you, you have new doors opening with this. And it's all about your perseverance, that conquering spirit. But it's also too, in terms of a love relationship, attracting somebody who really understands you on a deep level. The two of you have a an energetic connection, but that that mutual understanding of really you know, what the other person just kind of intuitively needs. And, and so needs might not be quite the right word for it, but I do feel like it's a very compatible relationship. And she also too, she's cloaked in the garden of the magician, also with the infinity symbol as a crown. So I feel like too, this is also a representation of manifesting. And so for those of you, it's a card of success. It's a card of power. It's a card of taking action in your life. So you're going to have an influence. If you're interviewing for a job, know that you have that job. If you are meeting somebody new, I feel like they're going to be more nervous around you in the beginning than you are around them. All right. Because some of you, you've had some difficulties here. And what I feel like that's led to is a more unconditional experience where you're not a slave to conditions, where it's not like every single thing that happens is just rocking your world. Not with this. You have that inner fortitude. You're connected to your higher self here. Well, the five of cups happens in life, doesn't it? This is not a nice energy to pass through. And even though, now I mentioned we have four major arcana. Those are major life events. That's a lot when you have a only eight card reading here. But I do feel like with these minor arcanas, to some extent, it's really about the, the challenges that we face with this is how much energy do we give it? How much of our time do we devote to this? How much do we kind of stay stuck with this? And so with this, they're, you know, they're looking at the three overturned cups. And sometimes I say, is this, are, this is, are we done admiring the problem? Because there's a solution right here. And there's also a bridge to go home. So there's a change here. And I do feel like it's the, in some, some books, I believe, I, I don't know exactly where I got this. It was some book. I don't remember where, but it was like, don't cry over spilled milk is what the interpretation of this is. It's like the universe is trying to tell you, hey, guess what? There's 8 billion people here. And I had somebody drop a comment that I actually quite enjoyed. They said, yeah, but every, all those 8 billion people have their faces in their phones. There's no, they're not, that's not untrue, but I do feel like with this, um, they're, they're trying to tell you there's more for you. This isn't the end. It's just the beginning. It's a course correction. So you got another three. Threes are actually about happiness and syn synthesis. And so with this one, here you go. This is where the universe delivers. Now, if it was something to do with the house that you missed out on and you felt like, damn it all, I've been looking, that was perfect. I thought we had that one. Here's where you go on and you say, I'm really glad I didn't get that one. This is so much better. Or an apartment too, if you had a big rent increase and it pushed you into a different geographic. You say, I had to make a whole change. I was like edged out of the market in that place. The rents were getting crazy. and <clears throat> um, But I do feel like it's for the better. This is attracting people around you that are going to get along well with you. But it's also, too, any kind of new endeavors here. This is a card of further opportunities and new beginnings. So any new beginning is going to offer more. It's not just the beginning. It's not just what you see. There's going to be more available. And the Archangel Michael, the Sagittarius energy, this comes in to say, hey, guess what? The path is not completely straight. We know that. We wish it was, but it's energy. And we bob and weave and bob and weave. But we're going to get you back here to this dawn of a new day. And so I do feel like this is a card that says you are going to be thriving in change. That's what this is about. It's also wearing the world like a loose fitting garment. So you're going to find your inflow. I still get that so strong that somebody here is really making an overhaul in terms of those conditional attachments. I mean, talk about spiritual ascension. You have it here with judgment. So I guess that does make a lot of sense. But there's freedom in this. Now, with this temperance energy, it's also great healing. So those of you with the lovers coming in here, whoever has a broken heart, 
that heart is going to be healed. And if it's a new relationship, I don't see it ending anytime soon. I feel like this will be the one. Those of you that are already in a relationship, I feel like it just continues to grow. So if you hit a pitfall in a different area and your partner's there is right by your side, I see somebody like holding the other person around the waist, like almost holding them up. And it may be, again, symbolic of like we hold each other up when we need each other. Um, but with this nine of cups, you're going to be sitting pretty here. This is that energy again, where he's proud. And for somebody that damn three of swords dagger in the heart, I feel like you end up here where you go, look at this. I came out on the other side and I came out even better. And so this is attainment. It's realization. It's an energy of goals accomplished. So in terms of a job, too, you're going to end up with something better than you left. Those of you that had an ending with a job. And in a relationship, like I think I did say this already, it's going to feel like the first time you've ever been in love. You're going to say, this is what a damn relationship is supposed to be. It's this. This is reciprocity. It's people who actually really are thoughtful and thinking of you. Well, the Three of Swords came in to say, hey, guess what? This wasn't really your heart's desire. You had more that you've asked for, and we're going to give it to you. So there's definitely an ending. You've got it a couple of times. It's hard to argue with the cards. I mean, the tarot is our best friend who always tells us the truth. But judgment comes in to that. That's the archangel blowing that horn of ascension. And this is also, too, where if there is somebody that hurt you, I do feel like they may come back around with an apology with this. But you're already relieved of it, whether they apologize or not. You're not going to stay stuck because, my God, time is fleeting. And when we wait for somebody else, we just put ourselves on hold. You're not doing that. You're going to move forward. And there's freedom here. There's celebration here. This is self-mastery. It is a wonderful reading. So I love readings like this because it shows the reality of situations we bump up against. So let's see here. What else you need to know, Leo? What other advice do you have for Leo, please? All right, so this is the Fortune Oracle. Then we'll hear about love. Ooh, I like this one. You've got luck. You are right to be strong and optimistic about the opportunities ahead. So you manifested this reading. You attracted this. Um, so just know that that's your, your subconscious saying, here, here's a reading that it will will tell you what the subconscious already knows. All right, let's see what else what else you need to know here about love. All right, you have love endures, all right? Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. So, Good things are on the way for you, Leo. I love you all, and I'll be back again soon.